Are you drop shipping on eBay.com using the SKU Grid file exchange token? Well, if so, then you need to listen up right now and smash that like button because eBay got rid of the file exchange on June 15th, 2021. And if you are still using it, then you are behind because you need to make some urgent changes to your account and the way that you are actually repricing and restocking your items. So this might be for a niche people or who are just in my trainings because I know other people teach other things. But if you have been using the file exchange token, you need to go one of either two routes that I'm going to show in this video moving forward. And I don't believe that eBay fully got rid of the functionality of the file exchange, which they said they were going to because it's still there as of the time of recording this but I do believe that they will completely get rid of it at some point in time and you need to make urgent updates to your account in order to make sure that your items are still being repriced and that you are still you know, getting your items in and out of stock as they go in and out of stock. So be sure to watch this entire video. It's pretty important. It's not just one of those ones where I'm saying it's important, it's not, this is very important. I'm gonna go inside of my computer, I'm gonna go over exactly what happened on eBay and then you know what you need to do to mitigate any issues and how to move forward. It's still completely viable. And I think that there it's just as good, if not better than what it once was, but you need to make changes. So hopefully this video is helpful and I'll see you inside. All right, so here we are inside of my computer and what is this update? So eBay did announce a bit ago that they are getting rid of the eBay file exchange. You might not even know what the eBay file exchange is, but basically what it was is one of the easiest ways to avoid using an API related software to connect connect your retail dropshipping listings into eBay using SKU Grid. So a while back, we came to the conclusion that using API related software, using Amazon, other suppliers like that are going to get you flagged on eBay and you're not gonna be able to make really pretty much any sales or you're gonna be what is called flagged. We went over this over the last two years, so I'm not gonna to go too in depth with it. So what SKU Grid did was they created a way to connect into eBay using the file exchange. File exchange is pretty primitive method, basically not API, but kind of like the the same thing, just a little bit more primitive. And basically all it would do is they would take all your listings that are inside a SKU grid, you know, whatever you wanna price it, it's connected to a specific listing. And then at that point in time, if there's any updates, you know, they would upload the listing updates. You can still see results, they would be uploading things, but now it's kind of like broken and there's just weird things going on. Um, and it's kind of just the way that it is right now. I still do think that the as of right now, it kind of does work but it's, I have no idea. So they said as of the 15th of June, it's gonna be gone. So at that point in time, what did they replace it with? They replaced it with, if you go into your seller hub right here, something called the reports section. So there's a download, there's an upload, there's a schedule, and then there's some re learning resources that don't really give you very much. And it's pretty much the same thing. I don't really see a difference, but that's just what eBay is doing. Maybe it's more advanced. I really have no idea. They didn't really give very much information. They really only gave like a 20 day warning of which SkewGrid didn't really even get this update out until the 14th, which is one day beforehand. So I'm trying to come up with a video as quickly as possible to alert you guys on this anyway. So at this point in time, it seems as if it's the same thing but maybe there's a difference, that's just eBay. Now, what are we gonna do? So I went over what it's about, what's going on, they're getting rid of the file exchange, we need to move to the report section, how are we gonna go about doing so? So on the 11th, they sent out an email saying we've got you covered. One is that you can use you know, an API related way to connect to eBay. I don't suggest doing that but they do have something that they've been talking about called the Ecom Syndicator. And we're not gonna go into it in this video because I haven't tested it out. Supposedly, I've asked the owner of SkewGrid that about one third of the people connecting into eBay use Ecom Syndicator, which is basically all your listings would go to Ecom Syndicator, and then that will connect into eBay so it doesn't look like it's SkewGrid and it looks less suspicious. I haven't fully tested it, so I don't wanna say that that's the way to do it, but he said that about one third of people using the connection into eBay use Ecom Syndicator. But that's just, you know, that's 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 not up for debate right now. I don't want to test that, which is right here. You can watch the whole video of how to set it up. Just type in Ecom Syndicator. If you want to take the risk and go for it, you might get flagged. I have no idea. It's up to you. So what is there now in, you know, in exchange for this? There's a Chrome extension. So there was once a Chrome extension that worked with the file exchange. They got rid of that, or maybe it was still around, but we stopped using it because they had the, um, the file exchange token, which is much easier to use. And at that point in time, basically, you know, that was fine until now. So now there's an ex a Chrome extension. And I'm going to leave the videos down below, but they sent out an email on the 14th, three days ago, about how to, one, here's the extension, two, here's the video on how to use it. So pretty much it's, it's very straightforward. I'm going to leave you with a video on how to set it up. It's right here. It's only a minute and 26 seconds. 
You can watch it if you want. And basically all you do is you download it, you connect it to your Skugert account, and from there it's gonna work like magic. But the only issue here is that you need to be having your computer on at all points in time. So here's the Chrome extension. You can click add to Chrome. I'm doing it just for the video and here it is it's going to show you errors things like that if there is any but one thing to notice is that it's going to disappear you need to scroll down you need to find it and then you need to pin it and at that point in time it's right here so i just set this up for the sake of the video this isn't even the, the account that i run it on or that i would run it on this is just a test account but you know then you just need to pretty much get your skew grid remote key which if you click right there you know where to find it if you go inside of your settings and they show you how to do so inside of the video. So it shouldn't be that hard of a setup. It's right here. It's, it's gonna be easy for your remote key, eBay username, and then what marketplace do you wanna sell on? eBay what? Um, usually United States if you're watching my videos. At that point in time, you set the whole thing up. Is there issues with it? Yes, there have been issues with it. It came out two days ago. They just launched it three days ago. Like, or, it, or the main update was two days ago. They launched it on, you know, the 14th. There's going to be some updates with it. Everything from what I've heard as of last night, most of the updates or issues have already been fixed. So you don't need to worry about it. Some people were saying that they had issues with it. It's just the, the way of the game, you know, eBay changes, things happen. You need to make sure that you are well equipped for it or at least you know mitigating your risk as much as possible and that's pretty much it so watch this video i'm gonna have the video down below and just download the chrome extension and follow what they do in the video all you need to do is take your actual remote key put it in there connect it you're going to be good to go there really isn't that much of a difference and then from there you know you're gonna to have to set up and just work in the way of doing it this way from now on or make sure that you have a way to set up your computer so that it's on at all points times because your computer needs to be on so one thing that they have is the remote chrome which you can look into if you look in the remote chrome then i highly suggest you do which i'm not going to go as in depth in right now but what it basically is is a way for you know your account be on and active on its own ip like remote computer autonomously and you don't have to leave your computer up but if not then you're gonna have to leave your computer up so that's pretty much it i didn't want to bore you with a very 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 long video on how to set everything up or whatever if you want me to do a video on remote chrome leave a video down below i can show how to set it up i've done it before and i you know i can do it again i've already set things up but everything should be pretty much the same is retail drops free on ebay dead no you can still do it it's 100 percent I see people doing it all the time and making tons of money. I'm making a good amount of money with it. I've had one account that's been going for a long time and then just some other test accounts and example accounts like I've been doing on this for retail. Am I going to focus more in the future not on retail? Yes, that's a given. Can you still make money? Is it still easy to start? Yes, it, it's it's very easy to start. So that's that. Make sure you make this change. Don't miss out or don't not pay attention or don't take action because your items will not be getting repriced and put in and out of stock. And that's that. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.